25 years ago in December of 1997, the first issue of Woods and Wave Report was published. And we are celebrating by offering you 25% off our most popular monthly subscription for a limited time only. Simply type 25 in the discount code box and you'll instantly have 25% off of the first month issue. You can see here is our website. You click on uh, register. There is register. This page comes up. Fill out all of that nice stuff. Click on the monthly subscription. Note there can be no refunds with the discount code. Come down to the discount code here, type in 25, hit apply, and bam, there it is, 25% off. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500, a rare Saturday update, Saturday morning. We get all of our YouTube subscribers caught up. Uh, before I get into the analysis, I want to um, let you guys know that that 25% off that you just saw applies to all of these subscriptions here. Okay, not the auto trade. That's a separate thing that you would do with uh, with a futures trader or broker. But 25% um, off all these top four subscriptions for a limited time. Okay, let's get into our analysis here. Let's start with the U.S. 10-year. Um, you can see here we have, uh, let me fix this up a little bit. We have five waves up from the 2020 low. Speaking of the 2020 low, which was whatever it was, 0.333%. Uh, yeah, there it is there. That ended a 39-year bear market from the 1981 high, which was 18.45% in the 30-year. We should have about 40 years up to uh, counteract that. Anyway, you see a one up, two down, three up, four down, five up into the October of 2022 high. So that took uh, over two years. Okay, so let's get into, uh, let me clean this up here and make this an hourly. Interesting things going on here. Okay, let me fix this here. There we go, and we'll fix this here. Okay, we got a lot going on here. Bear with me. I'm going to separate those out. Okay, so we had um, two down. That, that move that I showed you guys at 2020 high was one. This was two. Okay, so from two, we have the beginnings of wave three up, and wave three up will go at least to seven points. Keep in mind, the first wave up took over two years, about two and a half years, so we'll see that you know, we're in the beginning of this. But um, from that wave two up, we have one up, two down, and three subdivided or extended. You can see up here to three. Okay. And then we had a four, which retraced to the previous fourth wave. Um, that was, well, this, is a, this is a perfect definition of a four along and sideways pattern. Bunch of overlap, okay. So we have four down here, and then we have one, two, three, four, five up, okay. So that, let me make that a little bit bigger up there, okay. So if the market's going to retrace this five way in advance, this most recent one, there's our target share, okay. And if it's going to retrace the entire Five ways up. Here's our target here, 3.84, 3%, a 5.731%, and a 3.619%. Uh, it's too early to tell if this is the end of that move, and this is actually five. And so the mark has to face all of this, or is this one of five of a higher degree of trend? And it'll retrace just this, and there's those targets there. I don't want to put too many red lines in there uh, to confuse everyone. Okay, so you can see that move down there is pretty dramatic, which was Friday after it hit a, a little bit above the fifth wave target there. So we'll watch this big line and see if it's going to be correct. This five waves here from the 3.729 to the 4.204, or these five. Here from the 3.253 up to there. Okay, we'll watch 
Without further ado, uh, a lot in this report here. It might be easier just to show you these charts. Uh, I want to start this with, you know, I have this outline here. This, these retracement levels may seem outrageous. And current levels, again, it's just math and I'm reporting the numbers. So we have a look at the long term in a while. This is cycle degree up here. Okay? And if you count from the 1982 low, you have a one up of five years. Two down, which is the same year, the 87 crash, way three up, way four down. That lasted the Venetian equals plus one year and another 13 year advance into the way of five high at a cycle degree in the red. Okay? That's if we count from the 80, 82 low, okay? And we explain all the verbiage in there. Okay? Again, this chart covers. 40 year period of time, so this is a very long term look at things, okay? But if we use an 1874 low, and I say up here to this day, it can be argued whether well, the bull market ended, I'm sorry, the bear market ended from 1966, and the bull market began in either 74 or 82. You can make a case for either one, but if we use 1974, interestingly, we have. Wave one is 13 years, wave three is 13 years, from 87 to 2000, and wave five is 13 years. So that has perfect symmetry as far as time goes, and uh, we have a wave two correction, which is a sharp 87 crash, and a wave four, which is sideways. So that follows the guideline of um, alternation in corrective waves. Again, we have that fourth wave triangle. Okay, so I'm in there about four wave triangles. Um, I'll repeat it again when I started charting uh, basement wall, wall chart. Uh, I think it was 1996. I couldn't find five ways up or five ways down. I thought it was a cellular wave disorder. I don't see anything. And then uh, all of a sudden, a few months later, it turned out to be a triangle. So by uh, luck, if you will, the first slight wave pattern I learned when I first started charting was a triangle. So it's hard to get a triangle finding. Um, use 25 plus years later. Okay, uh, they're easy to find because it's the first pattern I learned. But anyway, this is the um, monthly um, cycle degree. You know, this is a logarithmic chart. You can see there the fifth wave played out, one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. It's a 20, 20, So uh, 1974 it looks cleaner. Um, as far as cycle degree five points up, so this should correct uh, from there. Okay, uh, again, outrageous, but it's, it's just math. Math is absolute, so we'll see what happens. Okay, obviously, you think about the January 4th all time high, the gauge that, that count kind of means is going higher. Uh, speaking of the January 4th, 2022 high, here it is. We mark it from there. There's an A down, and the October low is going to be up into. Uh, 727, that's when the S&P top, which is different from the NASDAQ, and the NQ futures. You can see the weekly time frame down here, fairly close to uh, Fibonacci turns. Okay, this last one was 20 weeks up. That C wave, mm -hmm. that's just a look. And we down and B up, and we had a, another one. I think I showed you guys where uh, A down and B up. One trading day difference, so it's perfect symmetry as far as time is concerned. Okay, and price, you can see it went over 786, I think it was an 80 something percent uh, correction. Okay, so that's all that. Here's our we see now target here. Okay, A now complete, yeah, for real low, B up complete on the July 27 high, C down, all weeks below, way, way low. One in there, so that's the target right there. Okay, here's the, uh, the wave B up, and I want to point this out. Uh, here's where A down, and then there's the B up, and then all this one, the apples closed over here with the sports wave. These gaps, uh, C down, will fill all of these gaps. Okay, so looking out for that, all right, that was the main point of. Uh, Hourly bar there, okay, and then, uh, oh, by the way, I wanted to uh, point out here, um, we had this three-way decline in three days. We we're all over it, and then all of our subscribers, three down means the main direction is up, so we should still see five more waves up from this slow, and that's exactly what we got. So uh, we we're all over that, and in the uh, short term, I'll show you guys the... Uh, this is the range of the systems. As far as I know, don't even exist anymore. That, that great uh, market newsletter, as far as timing goes. Um, we have, we'll show you guys the intermediate and uh, 
there. <laughs>
we have our trigger there. All right, there's the bond replacement. Replacement targets. Here's the gold market. Um, let's look at gold. Here we have a daily mark. Going back to the year 2015, we have a one up, a two down, a three up. Nice sideways for that B wave created a double top and up for hit down here. And we have one up, five up here. We've got one up, two down, three up, four down, five up. So we have to retrace again. We got five waves up. So we have to retrace. And here are the retrace the targets. It looks like we have an A down, a B up, and then a C coming. Okay. I got a C equals A somewhere over there. I might just go in again to that. Uh, Gold market get a little tighter on that. You can see it already hit the uh, 382 target, but uh, there's the 500 at 1847. This is 18 at 1792. Okay. Any uh, move below the 1614 low uh, negates this bullish count that we've had for a very long time. By the way, the, uh, the target price for this wave high is 2147. The high so far is 2081, and it could go higher. That's just what 5 equals 1. Okay. Here's our positions for rating services. I'm not sure if I showed you guys just before. You guys being YouTube's favorite kind of long term, intermediate term, short term counts. Long term is basically the weekly, monthly charts. Uh, intermediate is daily, could we lead over in the weekly? Short terms or uh, daily or hourly or even shorter than that. I show you guys that um, we did we did resume our short term. Short term we got long. And I showed you with that with that main move three ways down it needed to be before that. But with the uh, July twenty seventh high, we resumed the short position. We've been short long term in a year. Intermediate term since January of 2022. Okay, short term uh, moves obviously a little bit more often with the short term moves, but it's the same in the, in the short term with all of that. Okay, and again with gold, um, we're long against that. Wait for low right there. Been long for a long time. In bonds, uh, we resumed our position on. February 17th, but we have been long on interest rates and short on prices for quite a long time. There's our Fibonacci. Nice spiral. I don't like that. Uh, 22 days off there on that one, but um, we'll see how that uh, next one works out. Is that you should go there. There we go. Let me. I won't say that now, we'll do it later. You see our Fibonacci time spiral there. We have a lot of them. I'll just slip through them here. There was a May 5th one. There was a July 5th one. The next one is September 6th. Okay. And we have a weekly one that goes. We have another one in November and then a weekly one that's uh, December 7th. Okay. I wanted to get into that gold market. So. Let's go there. Let's see if we can uh, show you guys the shorter term. Here we go here. Let's get this out of the way. This is a little cleaner here. There's that five waves up right there. There's A down. It's 1893. And our target here was 1902. Okay. And then we get a B up. So if B up is complete, let's do a little extension on this. Okay. As close as I can. Might be off by dollar or two. But uh, you can see C equals A down here. Right here is 618. We have uh, 1713. I'm sorry. See, these are off. Okay. We have 1799. C equals A. And 1792. For the 618 retracement there. Okay, let me just do these slides except for a, a bigger picture, if you will. Okay, and uh, we'll fix this here. There's the 382, there's the 50%, there's the 618, and there is the 
Take care, everyone. 